Well, the Henry Wisewood Warriors finished second in Alberta rankings, and they've swept their way through the playoffs, and now they're on the way to an Alberta provincial game, and they're led by this man, head coach Cody Ehrman. And Cody, it's been a pretty special season for you guys. Why don't you tell us about uh, how the last couple months have been for your football team? Uh, absolutely amazing for the kids. The opportunity that we have this weekend is huge. Um, not too many teams get to play in a provincial final at any tier. Um, had some difficulties in uh, the city regional um, playoffs and uh, lost to St. Francis in the semifinals. I think that that opportunity, and good or bad, it was an opportunity for us to learn some lessons. And uh, we had an opportunity to go up to Edmonton, uh, second chances. And and uh, we played uh, Spruce Grove, who was the defending um, Edmonton region champions from last year, and we beat them. And then we went up and played the Edmonton city champions, you know, and we, we beat them last weekend. And I think the kids are pretty excited, and I think we're, we're poised for a great provincial finals. How key was that after you lost that game to Francis to, to remind these kids, you know what, there is that second chance, and that, you know, the season the season isn't done, and to kind of revamp and, and re-gear, and, and it worked out for you. Yeah, our kids didn't know that we had that opportunity, so I kept that a secret. So there's a lot of tears after that game, and uh, the realization that how quickly things can end in life, I think, kind of set, set in for the kids, and uh, the focus and uh, the approach the last few weeks has been amazing with these, these young men. So. Yeah. Now, you got a tough opponent coming up, um, playing against the defending provincial champions. Uh, you guys met earlier this year, but that was in game one of the season, so that's that's old news now. What's kind of been, how, what's been the, the mental approach that you guys have taken to prepare for Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame is a great football program. They, they've proven that. They're, they're undefeated in two years. I think they've lost one game in three years. Um, I tell our kids the pressure's on them. They, they have to beat us. Everybody expects them to win. People don't expect us to win this football game. So that's been the approach, um, outwardly talking to the kids. But the confidence we've gained playing uh, the provincial games in Edmonton has really pushed the kids forward. And again, losing that game to St. Francis has really elevated the way that we're approaching things with the finality that, that's in front of us right now. Win or lose, season's over on Saturday. This is going to be an offensive showcase between you guys. I mean, this could be a 50, 50 to 40 game. I mean, uh, so offensively, do you expect to put up some big points? Coach Deluzio and me hope it's not that many points, <laughs> but because uh, uh, we're both defensive guys. Mm -hmm. But uh, do we expect to put up that many points? Um, no, we, we, ex we expect to uh, try to control the football and uh, keep that uh, keep, keep the ball away from their offensive board of team. That's, that's the offensive goal this week. You guys have played well in snow. They're calling for nice temperatures this weekend. Uh, good thing or bad thing? We're fast. <laughs> so the, the weather being good should help us, yeah. but uh, we played well in snow, so. It'll be good for all the parents of the kids up there watching, right? <laughs> all the fans will be happy that it's warmer, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Coach, thanks for doing this. Heck of a year and good luck this weekend, okay? Thanks very much. All guys. right. Appreciate it.